for a couple of weeks now, I've been teasing you guys with these Foam Action Sports Rest. Well, today we're going to do the torture test and review, so stick around. Welcome back to CloverTac Crew. I'm Chris Dover. Now, before we get started, I'd like to thank Ross and Mike from Foam Action Sports for sending me a couple of these rests to check out. Now, as you can and will see, these are made out of a uh, special foam. They have three places to rest your firearm. They can be turned, obviously, lengthwise or widthwise. Now, you'll notice they come in two versions, one with a, uh, a slit cut in it and one without. And the purpose of the one with the slit cut in it is to make it easier to shoot from a vehicle window. You can roll that window up just a little ways. Put the rest on it, you're good to go. Now with all that out of the way, let's get to the torture test and review. Okay, we got our scale, let's put our rest on there. And we've got the scale set up for uh, ounces there, and you'll notice it's uh, about two and a half ounces, so extremely light. Now let's take a look at the actual dimensions on this thing. Um, if it's really good in a range bag, there's not a very large profile to it. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna call this the length here. And we've got about uh, eight and three eighths on that width, about six and a quarter. And then we want to check the thickness here. It's right at three inches. So a fairly small profile for a. Uh, for a rest indeed now you'll notice you've got the three cutouts here and they're all a little bit different in size these obviously are where your firearm is going to rest so let's measure those and see it looks like they get bigger as they go around so let's uh let's just try that uh look at about two and a quarter on the opening there and again, these are rough, rough estimates. And I'd say probably two and seven eighths or so on that one. And the same there, about two or seven eighths. Now the depths also appear to be different. Uh, that's going to be a little tricky to measure. So let me get a straight edge so I can have a flat surface to measure against. And we look at about... Uh, inch and an eighth looks like there about an inch and a quarter depth wise there and the final one here is actually shallow it's, it's pretty shallow it's about seven eighths of an inch there so uh, got a little bit of a variety on not only the width or the depth there so you should be able to find uh, the right slot that is uh, most comfortable for just about I would think just about any firearm the way you're going to attach this rest to your vehicle door or window uh, it's really simple you're basically going to roll your window up just a little bit you want to make sure that when you put it on there the base of the rest actually fits down on your door Throw your rifle in there and you're ready to go. So there's 10 pounds and I have measured it. And honestly, there's really no change. So let's go to 20 pounds. Now that we've added another 20 pounds, uh, it really hasn't compressed it much. I don't show anything when I measure it really. Uh, however, you can, you can start to see it, I guess for lack of a better term, uh, it's like it's starting to buckle. It's wanting to start to compress right now. So let's go 30 pounds and see what happens. All right, so here we've got 30 pounds and I'm having to hold it up because it is buckling. It has squished it down. It measures about, well, about eight and a quarter or so right now. So my opinion is about 20 pounds is about all you're gonna realistically get out of this. Uh, as far as it supporting any kind of weight but 20 pounds is typically a lot heavier 
than what most of your firearms are going to be so it's well within a, an acceptable range let's take it to a real world extreme and see how it does trying to support a 50 BMG well there you go it is supporting the 50 BMG now I did measure it uh, we had about the same amount of compression as we did with uh, 30 pounds of weight I'm going to tell you right now guys, uh, that's impressive, period. I really expected, uh, I go about 200 pounds and I really expected, I expected it to flatten more than it did. It actually, it actually supported my weight for the most part. I felt supported. That is awesome. Now I didn't expect that test with stepping on this thing to go so well. So we're really gonna bump it up about a zillion notches compared to that. I'm going to run over it with my pickup truck and we're gonna see what it does. Wow. All, all I can say is wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy editing this footage. Um when seeing that. Uh, that video obviously I was in the pickup driving over it. I actually felt a bump going over this thing and it's foam guys It's freaking foam and I felt the bump when I went over it. It's amazing um, It really is impressing me um, the density and the quality um, Of the foam in this thing. It's amazing so here it is this is after I stepped on it as you could uh, tell from the video multiple times uh, and after not only driving over it, but you know, I felt the bump and I stopped and I put the truck in park And then when I got out I realized I was still on the thing So the truck didn't just drive over it as you could see there. It, it sort of stopped uh, on top of it uh, at least partially uh, and yet It has retained its form. So Yes, we've got a little bit you can see some small spots from my uh, uh, tread on my boots and then obviously you can see uh, the tread from the uh, tire on my truck but both of those are extreme situations so let's say that um, this thing uh, you know falls out of your bag or on the ground or whatever and you run over it with your four-wheeler or your quad or your pickup truck um, I think it's pretty amazing that though it kind of looks uh, it doesn't look new certainly it kind of looks like crap now but um, it's it's functional it has retained its form and it is still functional that's pretty neat now the torture test is done it's review time first question is do these work yes as a power arm rest they work and they work great second question is do they hold up yes obviously if you can run over them with a pickup truck and they hold form yeah they're pretty durable and even though I didn't purchase these they were sent to me the third question is, would I purchase these? And yes, I would definitely, after seeing how well they hold up and uh, how they uh, perform under the torture test, how light they are, uh, how easily they can be put into a range bag, how easily they can be transported, uh, definitely, I would purchase them. The final question is, if I had any suggestions on improving the foam action sports rest, what would those suggestions be? And honestly, I can't think of many. You've seen the uh, footage there. They obviously hold up. Uh, a rest is a rest in a lot of aspects, but these are also light. Um, really don't have anything, uh, anything negative to say or anything uh, improvement-wise that I could say about these. Uh, if I had to nitpick, I would say that, uh, and, and I was talking directly to Ross and Mike with Home Action Sports, I'd say maybe eventually get into looking at doing some different colors instead of just the, uh, the, the bland charcoal gray here. Uh, zombie green for me would be awesome. I would love a zombie green one. Uh, and don't worry, guys, you don't got to give it to me. I would actually buy that one from you. Uh, but some different colors might be cool. So once again, I'd like to thank Ross and Mike sports for sending me those rests to check them out i really did enjoy getting to put them through the torture test and use them over the last couple of weeks i'm going to drop a uh, link to their website down in the description so be sure to go over there and check them out tell them that clover tech sent you 
And until next time, guys, we appreciate you joining us. Have a good day, and don't forget to chain fire freedom. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos. If you enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? If you want to passively support CloverTac, you can do so by going to CloverTac.com and shopping with one of our wonderful affiliate sponsors.